I have this nice background image for the video and also have this couples image which I have removed the background by using pen tool as you can see here. So if you have any picture like this just drag and drop to your main file. Now select the background layer, right click and convert to smart object. So converting to smart object will give you the freedom to uh, manipulate any time later you want. Now go to filter, other and select maximum. Uh, you can keep the radius value 8 to 10 something like this and change the preserve to roundness as you can see it's automatically turned into a nice bouquet effect press ok as you converted the layer into a smart object so you always can edit it and uh, to edit you can just double click here and you change your value whatever you like anytime you can do like this so I no need it I'm just cancelling it now let make some uh, fake particle effect so create a new layer and place it on top of change the blending mode to linear dodge select brush or press B right click select any hard brush go to brush setting here you can change the spacing click on shape dynamics change the size jitter click on scattering you can change the variation and also the count now click on transfer you can play with the opacity jitter and lastly you can click on color dynamics so this will take color from your foreground and the background so you can change it from here select color dynamics click on apply per tip and change the value to 100 Anytime you can change the foreground or background color from here. Uh, if you don't get this color window, you'll get it from here. Windows color. Now with this color selected, just draw some random color. I'm not going in so detail you can just play around so once you are done with this go to filter blur apply Gaussian blur change the value to something like 2 press ok and you can also reduce the opacity level
once you are done you can also uh, apply some adjustment layer onto your background image so select that and go here and apply color balance and just play with some values I think this looks fine so you always can switch on and off and check your effects you also can select your foreground layer or the subject and apply some levels onto it always use clipping mask so that this effect should not apply on the other layers and play with the sliders now it's some adjustments you have done